yo, <clears throat> what is good, my anime crazy? What is good, good? So, honestly, I didn't expect myself to be playing or watching the another dungeon show or harem and elaborate. <laughs> But this is pretty much what I wanted to see from this show, is, you know, what type of things happen when you're doing what it is you're doing, and in this case, using MP, um, using any type of, like, magic-based thing, it can ultimately drain you to a point where you become depressed, and I think that was a very kind of cool way of going about, you know, why people don't want to continuously spam and run out of MP anytime soon when in battle. So it actually gives us a decent reason for, you know, characters to not just uh, make it so like, you know, if you're a mage person, you're the best, because how, how much magic and uh, attacks you could use. It doesn't have that type of feeling to it. It more or less feels as if they can continuously show us anything they really want uh, when it comes down to his abilities, and we see that having a job really does make you a higher uh, possibility of getting... A ridiculous amount of stats across the board <clears throat> because not only is he a hero which give him like an increase a moderate increase on like every single stat he then has explorer to make it so the dungeon is a whole lot easier compared to probably what it would be like if he was an explorer but the question is does that happen with everybody that winds up in um in this world in general right or is it just him and he's somehow jumping from job to job to job or unlocking all these jobs to best fit the situations that he's in um there's a lot going on with just everything that they teach us that he's doing and it's another <coughs> it's another really cool way of just giving us introductions to this world without really slamming it down our throat and forcing it, right? Um, I think that has been the easiest part is how, A, he's going around killing um, these trees that are pretty dangerous in general. And if he does kill them, they're not really worth all that much and that's the part that's kind of giving us the most information on the fact of he can go in this labyrinth and fight wherever he wants but if he actually wants to meet his deadline he can't fight everywhere he wants he needs to fight things that are higher level crazier danger more dangerous and drop better loot at the end of the day compared to what he's fighting right now which these twigs aren't really anything worth in to fight as much as he would have to. He would be running out of MP and whatnot. So it really does speak volumes uh, on how far he has to continuously push himself already just to get to the you know first step of the show, which is buying the person that he wants to obtain. And yeah, I think having just a focus on the world and the character was a really cool way to uh, just teach us more about what's going on and what he's probably going to be willing to do at the end of the day and if not we'll see what he comes up with because that labyrinth room where he was fighting a ridiculous amount of people was pretty hype but at the same time it was the most dangerous thing he could have done in that situation and hopefully he can learn better ways of going about that type of stuff. So overall, I hope you all are having an amazing one. I will definitely be talking to you sooner than later because uh, hopefully we get more shows dropping 
on Wednesday. This is the only show that I kind of saw this, and I was going to probably add Dr. Stone to the lineup, watch it, and uh, review it. So we'll see how that turns out if anything else comes out. But yeah, take care, everybody, and I will definitely talk to you in the next one. Peace.